My inspiration for the installation or for this work, Dust, is it came through this desire to move. I had this huge, like 6,000 square foot space or some giant space like that. And, um, and I just started collecting musical instruments and tools and, you know, all kinds of, I had a van and I would just pick things up off the street. I realized that it was I was not thinking seriously about moving. I mean, I've always wanted to move to New York, and so I, I was sort of not doing that because of all this stuff I had amassed. And um, I it began to think a lot of my work deals with uh, manipulation. When I was doing the theater, I, I started working with puppets because I wanted to talk about how people are manipulated through ideas, through either religious ideas or political ideas. And uh, it just occurred to me that I was being manipulated by my stuff, my the things I quote unquote owned actually felt like I was being owned by or they owned me. One of the reoccurring themes in my work is is a memory, and it's a memory of an event. And that event happened in uh, 1973. I was 11, I believe. And it was a tornado that swept through the our neighborhood or, or the adjacent neighborhood. And it was um, it was sort of a turning point in the way I started thinking about the world and the way I thought about myself and the world. Uh, and I was able to sneak outside or sneak out to our, our garage and, and watch this you know, lumbering giant of a tornado just moving slowly across the landscape in the next neighborhood. And I thought it was one of the most beautiful sights I'd ever seen. It was just this most powerful, gorgeous, I mean, sublime. It was just, it was a beautiful thing. But at the same time, I realized, you know, I could see houses being destroyed and people were losing their lives. So it was this, this kind of strange like, dichotomy between beauty and destruction and tragedy. And, and so that memory has stuck with me. Uh, and a lot of my work, I say, like deals with that, that uh, not just that event, but the idea that life can change on a, a dime. I painted the backs of everything a green, so you know many of the viewers who look at the piece think the wall is actually painted green, but it's actually just reflected color from the backs of the drawings. And that again, that goes back to the experience I had uh, with the tornado when I was a child. And that color green I use in uh, much of my work, a lot of my earlier work especially, um, was based on this color that I experienced the sky turning when there's just before a tornado forms. And I saw that color and it just sort of stuck with me. So I wanted that to be a part of this piece, you know, on a sort of, on just another level. As I was doing it, I was sort of struck by how much memory objects hold. So I would pick up, you know, my, I, it was a very systematic process. I would just pick up an object in my space and I would start to draw it. Whether it was something, you know, it was a tool or something, something precious that someone had given me. And uh, each one of the objects had a story behind it. And it was the kind of a great uh, sort of lesson for me in terms of how objects hold memories, you know, or, or they, at least they trigger memories. And even right now, as I'm installing this piece, I'm struck by that as I see these pieces again. I'm, I'm either reminded of people who have given them to me or where I got them or events that have taken place for me to acquire that object. It also triggers memories from people who see the piece. I mean, they'll say, oh, I had one of those when I was a kid or, you know, so it, it has that element to it as well.